summer, plan your vacation at home. Clear the tracks for victory by helping save vital rail space. Space needed for the movement of troops and the comfort of wounded men. WEAF, New York. The program usually scheduled over many of these stations, The Art of Living, will not be heard at this time in order that the National Broadcasting Company may bring you Bob Hope in a special program from a naval hospital in the South Pacific. The Art of Living will be heard at its regular time next week. We now take you to the South Pacific. From somewhere in the South Pacific, we present the Bob Hope Show. Network Hope, thanking you boys from Guam City and Spain for making the Japs take it on the lab. Yes, sir, isn't it wonderful what you can do on Spam, huh? Well, here we are on this beautiful, romantic South Pacific island. Boy, aren't these islands pretty? Wait till I see that Dorothy Lamour. What a lie. But I really hope you enjoy our show today. We have a nice show here with Francis Langford, Jerry Colonna, Tony Romano, Patty Thomas, and Barney Dean. I know you'll enjoy the girls. You remember girls? Yes, sir, they're doing very fine. In some of these islands we visit, these girls have been the first to land. Won't Eleanor be mad, huh? Of course, she would have made those islands if she stopped to trade with the natives along the way. We had a very fast flying trip up to now. Flew all the way down here from San Francisco. Didn't scare me a bit. I read a novel coming down. Going back, I'm going to read the second page. <laughs> Everybody had a lot of fun on the plane. I know because I looked inside and saw them. And when we got about... Uh, when, uh, when we got about halfway down, the pilot turned around to me and said, Are you a little nervous? I said, Yeah, this is only my third time up. He said, You beat me. This is my first. <laughs> a little rough out there. Don't you think we ought to have parachutes? He said, don't be silly. The ones with parachutes jumped an hour ago. <laughs> and talk about weather over that Pacific. It was so rough, the automatic pilot bailed out. I've never seen it. <laughs> Finally, the crew chief tapped me on the shoulder and said, in case of an accident, the pilot was the last one to leave the plane. I said, why tell me that? He says, I don't want to make you nervous, but there he is down there. <laughs> Another little picture with Crosby and Lamour. We're going to work on the alleys next. Ah, <laughs> uh, that Lamour. Ten weeks with Lamour and I got money, too. <laughs> so think what that cost me in vitamin pills alone. Just think. <laughs> and, of course, you all know Crosby, Sinatra's father. He's doing very, very well. <laughs> Sinatra's doing okay, too. He's just been elected uh, the, the wax pinup boy. <laughs> Him up or he'll fall down. <laughs> but right now, I want you to meet a young fellow who's been on our orchestra for the past three years in our different travels. A guy from Fresno, California, composer and a grand guitar player, Tony Romano. Let's get <laughs> I've 
Thanks, but how are you, honey? I'm fine, Bob. Oh, that's well. You having a good trip? Oh, it's so exciting, and the boys have been so wonderful to me. You know that last island where we were? I sure do. One of the boys took me out on the target race. Oh, he did, really? Mm-hmm. He put his arm around me and showed me how to hold a nickel. Oh, is that right? Yes. <laughs> he put his arm around me again and showed me how to aim it. Oh, he did, I guess. Uh, I see, I see. He kept his arm around me for a half an hour and showed me exactly how to fire it. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we are going to try it again tomorrow with a rifle. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they have all kinds of rackets down here, don't they? Well, you know, Francis, these boys have a rugged time down here, but I still wish I was one of these fellas. I want to tell you that. I mean... I mean... Oh, the dark green has 
مختار اسی سے بخوبی Thank you. 